constructed by God to build a house of peace where people will pray and they will come on every lean camel and out of every ravine for the purpose of praising Allah to glorify Allah Mountains of Mecca, what can you tell of the day that stones from the sky fell, destroying an army determined to break the house of Allah that Abraham built. Oh, mountains of Mecca, how was the dawn on the day that my prophet Muhammad was born? How did it feel knowing he was to be the last and most beloved of all? Rasul of Allah, Nabi of Allah. O oh, mountains of Mecca, you were there when the Prophet Muhammad came down in despair. First of all, I would like to thank Imam Abdul Latif 
uh, Islamic Center of North Detroit, Majid Alfala, entire board, and their community members, and I greet them all again, Assalamu I thank them for this opportunity to bring us all together here in the name of Commonwealth Alliance, as you see on the banner, Commonwealth Alliance is Cordis Educational Interfaith Organization which exists in four years so far. My dear brothers and sisters, I thank you all for coming. Cordis dignitaries, our Honorable Mayor Majewski from the city of Antrenik, I would like at least to raise your hand up. People may not know who we are. Thank you for coming here. Thank you, Senator Philip Johnson. Thank you, Senator Fokani. And we are always with you as you are with us. State Representative David Netter. Where are you? Thank you, Brother Fokani. As far as I see, Honorable Judge Ruth Garrett from 36th Court from Detroit. Welcome, Honorable Judge. And her beautiful niece, Latanya. Thank you, Latanya. Uh, state, former state senator, now Maine County Commissioner, Honorable my mother, <laughs> Armando Scott. Yeah. Thank you, Martha, for coming. Thank you all. Honorable Chief of Police from City of Antrenic. May I just mention two council members from Hemgenic are here, and I appreciate it. I'll give my applause to you. Okay, thank you for uh, welcome to the board and us and every dictatorial over here. Now time to break our fast. So let us break our fast. Allah wa laka sultu 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 wa laka sultu. Allah, we are breaking our fast. All day we are thirsty and hungry. Now with your grace, uh, we are breaking our fast. Accept us and, and forgive us. Thank you.
Sami sa krv mnoho križu, ak nosi dať to nám. A vláda Kurbán Sáni Čoudry. Kurbán Sáni Čoudry. Thank you, Imam. First of all, we want to welcome all of our clergies, uh, our elected officials. It is a great honor and opportunity to welcome you. And especially, uh, our special thanks to the brothers uh, who uh, prepared this food and the sisters and all of you. And please feel free and welcome to your home. Thank you again. Our student, beloved student, and he is one of those who memorized entire Holy Scripture, entire Quran. So I'm going to call him Hanzala bin Hafiz. Come and recite from the Holy Quran a few verses. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام صدق الله العظيم على الذكريس and not only him we have six young boys and one girl they memorize the Quran so he is one of them. And we don't have too much time, I don't know I can present all of them. But now, on behalf of our uh, HIFS uh, Quran Memorization School and Weekend School Summer School, I will call one of our students, uh, Hanad Azon, to come and lead. Um, I'd like to welcome you all again to Masjid al Farah. I see the heat. Um, I'm also a student at the HIFS School here at Masjid al Farah. And I'm getting there surely, slowly but surely. And so, yeah. I would like to say again, just thank you. And I would like to invite our of the mayor, I the city of Ukraine, to meet and say a few words. Please help me to welcome Mayor Mayerski. Thank you, Ali. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Common Word Alliance. It's so nice to see so many of you again that I remember from last year. And we're back here again. I think that, um, sorry, I'm still eating. I couldn't stop. Um, that it's really fitting that here we are on the border of Detroit and Montreal, coming together as people from different cities, from different ethnicities, from different experiences, from different backgrounds, different languages, different religions. And here we are together celebrating in this holy month of Ramadan. Here we are listening to the Quran, listening to prayer. Prayer is universal. The call to prayer is universal. It's something that calls us all to look to our higher selves and to a higher power that guides us. So, and I believe that higher power has guided us all here tonight in fellowship together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Ayesu. I would like to ask uh, uh, also from the uh, deputy group of uh, Mayor Dumi of Detroit. Can you come, please? Lord, everybody, thanks for allowing us to uh, come tonight and share in your celebration and your dinner. Um, it is important um, for us all to fellowship, pray together, and think together as we grow together as a region and multiple cities, cultures, beliefs, and backgrounds. So again, thank you, and uh, we look forward to many more occasions like this where we can fellowship for very rare. Thank you. Thank you. Please, if you come to the board, you say, do you want to pray for us? Okay, that's okay. Uh, Senator, stay. Uh, Senator, say, let's go pray. That's a order. He's a senator. <laughs> so I'm like, it's good to see everybody. It's all the faith to have it here. Uh, it's good fellowship with you all. Good to be able to wear a hand kind of part. I don't want to get in the way of prayer. Let's go pray. Man. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you. Because that's what this world is all about. All of us coming together. Different faiths, different ethnic groups. Because God loves each and every one of us. And this is just wonderful. 
I just want to thank everyone who started this alliance, that we continue and that we continue to work together and raise our children well and do a great job. So thank you, thank you, Mayor, for always inviting everyone into your city. God bless you all. Thank you. If you're ever in trouble, if you ever need help, if you ever need help from God, get King David Solomon and read from the Psalms and the Psalms will save you and save whoever you're praying for. And I just want to quote now a short quote in the Psalms, chapter 86, verse 9. Hallelujah, as I annoy call Goyim, shall the fool call on me. All people and all races and all religions will eventually praise God together like we're doing right now. Hello everyone. Thank you very much uh, for inviting me here today. Um, you know, I was looking at the work in the uh, organization, Common World Alliance, and the word common means, in my opinion, uh, people on the same level. Um, around the world and coming together in an alliance. So common people and the same people around the world coming together. I believe that's what this is about. I believe there are communities. Our communities need to do more to come together. This is a great start to making sure that all faiths, religion, have an opportunity to share food, conversation, and our differences. So that those differences become a part of each other. Because we all have to live in this world together. And in order for us to make this world what God would like it to be, we have to work together to do it. So thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you very much for your efforts. And I will continue to support this organization uh, forever. I would like to invite Honorable Judge Ruth Garrett from 36th Court in Detroit. Honorable Judge Garrett, please help me to welcome Honorable Judge. Honorable Judge Okay, thank you and good evening. I'd like to thank the Interfaith Organization uh, for inviting me here tonight to celebrate this most honorable occasion. My God bless us all and let's continue to share. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything and thank you and this is good, uh, the meeting. Uh, I am very happy for this and I'm sorry, I can't speak English good, but this is my friend. I will take maybe two minutes to see what translation something. Is. We said it's thankful for being here right now. This is a very good organization that's happening. And I saw it. Inshallah, thank you so much. Inshallah, we will see you in, uh, another time, Inshallah. Uh, I am, my name is Yasta Abdeslam, I am Imam in the Islamic Center of Hamtramik. Inshallah, see you in the mosque. I am Arif. I and you have the ability come to my mosque uh, anytime, please. Inshallah. God created this great nation of America, and look what God brought together. So many faiths, nationalities, melting and getting to know each other, building bridges, uh, healing the past, and creating a new future. This is what we're all about. And it's a joy that we could all be here to celebrate Ramadan tonight with you. Thank you. God bless. It's always a joy to uh, gather with sisters and brothers. Thank you for the food, for your hospitality. Uh, I was telling uh, Reverend Caswell, Jack Lessonberry in the Metro Times wrote an article uh, speaking about his wonderment about how long this nation can last under its present corruption. You know, Jack Lessonberry is a, a journalist from Wayne State University. 
And he ends his column by talking about so much corruption in this country. And he ends the column by quoting from one of the founding fathers after they finished our Constitution, our United States Constitution, whereby a lady asked Benjamin Franklin, what are you giving us in this U.S. Constitution? And he said, we are giving you a democratic republic, republic if we keep it, if we keep it. So we have to keep it, work at it. We have to work at this uh, great divide. So please do, thank you. I would just like to say praise the Lord everybody. It's just good to be here, to be in fellowship with each and every one of you. And I pray that we keep the same mind and the same spirit because we know that if we stand together, that we can make it, but divided, we're going to fall. For the words that if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will they hear from heaven and I will heal their land. So that's in regards to what denomination there's some weakness. And God is saying that we've got to turn. So he's calling for his people. So we all said that we are of the people of God. So we want to act like God. Amen. The things that we do, we want to think like God. We want to love like God. Treat people like God. And as he always says, first natural, then spiritual. And we know it's going to take what? It took a man and a woman. For us to get here, right? Yes. So we're going to take that man and that woman to raise that family. And once we get that family together, there's going to have to be some fun, some way, some high, to keep it together because so many times people change because of money. And we ask asking God to work in the clergy field everywhere because they get weak and they fall and they stumble as well. So we want to be able to pray and lift up with one another hand. So I say keep praying for one another, keep on loving them, keep being together, and we want to do God will. Uh, good evening, brother and sister. Uh, I am Reverend Dalmananda on behalf of the Buddhist Council of America. I am very glad to be here. Uh, my fellow brother, uh, Imam Abdul Latif, uh, is uh, my brother and my uh, neighbor. And then also, the, uh, we are saying Bengali Nation. And I'm proud of this mosque because of the, uh, it is giving me so much pleasure. Because every every Friday, I watch the, from my, my, my building, I watch the, the, all the, the Muslim uh, fellow brothers uh, all come to the, uh, the prayer. And what I do, uh, I clear up my all the car, uh, take away because of the, the people, the Muslim, all the Muslims, they need to park the car, and I, I keep the space for them. <laughs> and I'm very glad that, uh, on behalf of the brother Ali, that I'm living in USA 27 long years, involved with the many interfaith groups. I ever meet with the, in the working with the interfaith group, the brother, brother Ali founded uh, the Common World Alliance, and I'm working with the uh, brother of the Latif and then the Hari, they're one of the best organizations in entire North America to alliance uh, all the interfaith group together. And the few things I like to talk about the Islam, and uh, which is I really it touching my heart and heartfully that I study because when I was a student, uh, my major uh, major subject I choose Islamic history in my. Um, uh, after the high school, the college, and then the university. Uh, because of the Islamic history is the, my major subject that I choose it. By, because as a Buddhist, I know Buddhism, but I need to choose another religion, which is, uh, which is I like to know much more, which is I choose Islamic history in my major st study. So what the beauty of the Islam I found there, it is so much impressed to me, the, the five, fundamental teaching of Islam, which is the number one is the namaz, and then the, which is the prayer, and the second one is the, uh, called uh, roja, which is the fasting, and number third is the uh, hajj, and which is the uh, visiting the holy places, and then the jakha, which is the 
uh, generosity, the kindness, the practicing the whatever you have, you share with other people. So this is the tremendous the beauty of Islam, and which is I personally, as a non-Muslim, what I practice in my life. So that is that is so impressed to me. Namaz, roja, jaka, khas. This is very very beauty of the Islam. And then the one thing that uh, I found that in the Quran also, I had five Qurans. You, can, you cannot even believe that uh, Buddhist monks study many Qurans. And one Bengali and four of them in English. So each page by page I study in the Quran. And then another thing I found that uh, the verses of the Quran say that the, the, you must have to take care of the, your neighbor. Because the your mom and dad may be somewhere else. Or maybe they pass away, they, they are not here. But your neighbor, 24-7, they are here. You must, in the verses of the Quran, in the, in, 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 a, in, a, in the protected, they say that you must take care of the, your neighbor. And that neighbor going to be, of course, he going to be a good neighbor. And he going to take care of you. And I personally good neighbor, and I always practice. And Many of my Muslim friends, they say, you are the, you are the best Muslim. <laughs> so, so, and then the last thing that, one, one of the American girls went to Thailand, and she asked the one of the holy mom in Thailand, very old holy mom, and then she asked the question, what is the, what is the best religion in the world? The mom say, you do one. And she say, what do you mean by it? And the mom say, what what you believe, which is what for you the best, which is which is that is the best religion in the world, and I believe, and I believe, Islam is the one of the best religion in the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, it's good to be back in the United States. Uh, when you spend a lot of time in other countries, uh, and you come back here and you realize how special the United States is because of what we see, because of the mixing, the different races, the different nationalities, that does not exist elsewhere. Um, that's typically, that's why we're a melting pot, I think someone else said that. And when, when you think about melting, it takes heat to melt something. And that heat was God. God provided the heat to melt the people together in America. So uh, those who are from other countries, welcome to America, and we love you, and uh, many more immigrants will be following you. So God bless. He is so nice, brother. He is my neighbor in Europe, from Bosnia, and he knows Russian, I speak Russian, and uh, I am glad to be here. We, we are always talking with my husband. He is the best of our friend. He is always living for the sake of others. Which uh, our leader, uh, this is our major purpose. Live for the sake of others. Like he is doing in his neighborhood and his gardening and uh, um, uh, what I would like to say. If we, if we love you. We love you, and uh, our leader, Reverend Mom, said, now we have last days when Muslim, Jewish people, and Christianity are supposed to be united. Now, now are the last days. Please invite how much more people to come and to, to be together. And even in our movement, we, we have like a tour, of all, all holy grounds which uh, Reverend uh, Blessed America, 48 uh, holy grounds in the city of Michigan on July 24th. Uh, on July, because the uh, holy ground at 2 o'clock. Who has this pleasure, please come and will be one family under God, which is our uh, goal to create one family under God. Thank you very much for very nice food. My personally enjoyed very much. You know, spicy food.